Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about a few important terms which are very frequently used in the field of data science and machine learning. And uh, these terms are very uh, frequently used in our daily life as well. So if you are not a data scientist or machine learning engineer, then you should also know about these terms like what is mean, median, mode and percentile. So uh, let's get started without any further wasting of time. You can see that I have taken a data list, which basically there are uh, five numbers which are listed here. And we are going to uh, do our uh, calculation of mean, median, mode, and percentile for these data points. So let's get started. Very first, we are going to discuss about mean. So mean is basically the formula for mean is like the sum of the data points divided by the number of data points. So in this case, uh, uh, for uh, our B is here, we, our mean is like, uh, we have uh, five data points like 100 plus 200 plus 600 plus 500 and then plus 400. And then divide by five. So if we take it would come around 1000, uh, 1000. Uh, 1, 5, 1500, 17, 1800, 1800 divided by 5. So, which will come of 5 is uh, 15 and uh, uh, 5. So, 360. So, this is our mean in this case. So, this is our mean in this case. And um, uh, now we are going to discuss about the median. So median, basically, what is median in our case is uh, to get the median, we first make sure that our data points are sorted. So if I sort these data points, so these data points will come like 100, 200, and then we have 400, and then we have 500, and then we have 600. So these are our data points. And so, a median is always the middle value. So middle value here is this 400. So uh, you leave the two data points to the left and two data points to the right because we have total five data points and middle value is this one. So uh, in this case, our median is 400. Now uh, there is there could be a possibility that when we have a even number of data points, so what will happen in that case is like, assume that we have data points like 100, 200, 400, 500, and let's say 600, and let's say 700. So here we have, let's say, six data points. So in that case, our median will be, take that these two middle values and sum them up uh, and divide by two. Then 400 plus 500 divided by two is equal to 450. So this is our median value in this case. And now moving on to the mode, mode, uh, mode is basically the frequency. Mode basically uh, tells about the frequency. So the element which uh, is most frequently coming in the data points is uh, called as a mode. So in this case, if we take an example of uh, this one, and we can see that each data point is coming only once. So here we do not have any mode. So for mode example, let me take another data point. So let's say we have 100, 200, and 300, 300, and 200, and 600, let's say 300, 400, and so on. So here we can see that 100 has come once, 200 have come twice, so this one, and 300 come one, two, three, and 600 and 400 has come only once. So here, our 300 has come thrice. So this is the most frequently element coming in. So this is our mode. Now, next thing that we are going to do is we are going to discuss about the percentile. So percentile, how percentile is calculated? Let us take the, uh, let us take all these. Uh, so, so let us take all these. Remove all this and let's say, so 
So four percentile, let's say I take again my data points. So for percentile, let's say I take my uh, data again. So this is my data, which is, let's say, I take as 100, 200, uh, 300, 400, 500, and so on. So if I draw these on, on, this, on this scale, so let's say this is my 100, and this is my 500, this is 200, 300, and 400. So uh, the percentile is uh, the minimum value which is represented in this data point represents the zeroth percentile. And the maximum value which represents the highest value uh, represents my hundredth percentile. So uh, my uh, so here we have five data points and let's say if I have to take uh, uh, my 25th percentile. So my 25th percentile is will come. So here we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So my 25th. So we have five data points. So five data points divided by my fourth. Uh, I am dividing it by one by four. Uh, I mean one fourth. Uh, taking one fourth, which comes around 1.25. So that means the value which comes around one at 1.25, which will be again as a 125. So this value will represent my uh, 25th percentile. So this is my 25th percentile. And the same way 75th percentile we can take. Uh, so we can take the uh, 75th percentile of uh, five by four. We have five values and 75th, that means third four, uh, 15 by four, 15 by 4 is 433.25. 3. So that would come around somewhere here. So this is represented by my uh, 75th percentile. So, and this is my 100 percentile. So this is how we basically calculate the percentile. So that's all for today's video. Uh, I hope you like it. And I have uh, created a complete machine learning playlist for the absolute beginners. If you want to learn, I will drop a link in this. Uh, you can go step by step and I can make sure you that if you follow it religiously, then uh, you would be able to uh, go from the beginner level to the intermediate level. And then from that intermediate level, you can always build upon. So that's all for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for uh, subscribing and uh, if you like it please subscribe the channel thanks it